while we're eagerly waiting for the next season of Wednesday. Let's catch up on how the awesome cast is doing these days. Who won't be making a comeback? Which actor is gaining a reputation for being starstruck? And why is Jenna Ortega shedding tears over fame? Hunter Duhan as Tyler Galpin. We should start with the main thing. Do you know if you're coming back? Yeah, coming back. Um, I can't really say anything else besides that. And that's quite enough. Wednesday managed to win over a charming barista slash monster. The actor became the heartthrob of millions worldwide. However, Hunter himself had no clue that this role would bring him such massive success. It's crazy and I knew what we had made was really fun and I thought it was special. But that's just not something you can predict. Hunter is currently pursuing modeling gigs and isn't shy about flaunting those abs. There are whispers about him possibly joining a Marvel project. What we know for sure is that the actor has been happily in a relationship. Last year, he tied the knot with movie producer Fielder Jewett. You know, we lived together for like four years, so <laughs> the day-to-day -day is pretty much the same, but uh, you know, it feels more just solid, and I love him. Interestingly, Brian Cranston, Hunter's colleague from the TV series Your Honor, officiated the ceremony. Now, let's see what's going on with another popular actor from the show. Percy Hines White as Xavier Thorpe. Following his role as a psychic student at Nevermore Academy, he garnered significant public attention. Fans were not only curious about Percy's career, but also about his past. Just a few months after the premiere of Wednesday, multiple girls accused White of sexual harassment. They claimed that Percy had been pressuring them for intimacy and taking photos without permission. This sparked the hashtag cancel Percy. So what's the deal with the actor? He went MIA for six months, and then finally brushed off the accusation saying it's all just a disinformation campaign. The rumors are false. I can't accept the portrayal of me as someone bigoted or criminally negligent of people's safety. It's very distressing to know that this misinformation has upset people. It seems Netflix's creators were pretty bothered by all this too. There haven't been any official statements yet, but chances are we won't be seeing White in the second season. Fans were anticipating a love story between him and Wednesday. Now it appears to be off the table, at least in the series. Perhaps we'll see this duo in other projects? Before all that scandal, Percy was already filming a romantic drama with Jenna Ortega called Winter, Spring, Summer, or Fall. It's set to drop in 2024. We'll catch up on the Wednesday actress a bit later. For now, let's find out how the main guest star of the show is doing. Catherine Zeta-Jones as Morticia Adams. We all know she was already very famous before stepping into the role of Wednesday's mom. And thanks to this series, Catherine firmly secured her spot on the Hollywood A-list. The Oscar winner recently revealed her nomination in the Children's and Family Emmy Awards for Best Supporting Actress in National Treasure Edge of History. In fact, Catherine has already won a major prize. She celebrated her 23rd wedding anniversary with actor Michael Douglas and showered warm, sweet congratulatory words on her beloved. Darling Michael, your Nobel Peace Prize awaits. I love you. From your darling wife, a Gold Star Medal of Honor recipient. The famous couple recently attended a festival in India with their son, Dylan, and they looked absolutely radiant, brimming with happiness. While these two had their ups and downs, today they're practically inseparable and share a love for playing golf together. Did you know that the actress is quite a skilled player, even coming up with her own unique rules? If her opponent can't get the ball into the hole, they have to take off their pants. It sure adds an extra twist to the game. No wonder Zeta Jones was thrilled to have Luis Guzman as her on-screen husband. After all, he's a great joker too. Luis Guzman as Gomez Adams. Throughout his career, Guzman has taken on over 150 diverse roles. He's currently at the forefront of the new drama, Story Ave. Luis has also joined the cast of Miles Away, an upcoming indie film directed by Jacqueline Quinones. And of course, we can expect to see him in the second season of Wednesday, too. Once filming wraps up, he heads to Vermont, where his wife and children eagerly await him. The actor tied the knot with businesswoman Angelita Galarza Guzman in 1985. Both desired a large family, and that's exactly what they created. Luis and Angelita have six kids, four of whom are adopted. No matter what life throws at Guzman, he always tries to approach things with a positive attitude. You can see that just by checking out his social media. Everyone who knows Guzman attests to his funny soul and big heart. 
A recent example is his generous donation of $30,000 to Neighbors in Action, a nonprofit organization dedicated to ending hunger in Washington County. The actor sees his popularity as a means to support those in need. We all give our time. We show up every day. I just feel honored that I had the opportunity to be in a position to give back. He certainly sets a good example for both his adult and younger colleagues, doesn't he? Now let's shift our focus to the actress, who's been a part of the Adams family for decades. Christina Ricci as Marilyn Thornhill. After her stint in Wednesday, this actress experienced a real career revival. Christina is now a regular on red carpets and fashion shows, and it looks like the star of The Addams Family has made a serious comeback to her beloved horror genre. Recently, Ricci featured in a spooky music video for Doja Cat's Demons. She lent her voice to Harley Quinn in the podcast, Harley Quinn and the Joker Sound Mind, and also returned for the second season of the thriller Yellow Jackets. Christina faced a surprising character challenge after the first series. I was pregnant at the time, so my walk was because I had a baby inside of me. So when I went back to do season two, I was like, why can't I do the walk? In October 2021, the actress tied the knot with stylist Mark Hampton. Just two months later, they welcomed their daughter, Cleo. At the moment, her top priority isn't her career, it's her family. Richie's sweet bond with her hubby is quite a contrast to her earlier romantic experiences. I think a lot of my relationships in the past had a lot to do with unhealthy things that I was looking for. Christina had a really rough time in her previous marriage. In 2020, she filed for divorce from movie producer James Hurtigan, citing domestic violence. They shared the custody of their son, Freddie, for over two years. So it's great to see her happy and in love again. By the way, the main adorable werewolf on the show is on the rise, too. Emma Myers as Enid Sinclair. The 21-year-old celeb is living the stardom dream she once envisioned. Just recently, the Christmas comedy Family Leave hit Netflix, starring Myers alongside Ed Helms and Jennifer Garner. She also appeared in the musical drama Southern Gospel. The actress took part in the unique cinematic project Epic Worlds, a movie shot entirely on a camera phone, and we will see her in the film adaptation of Holly Jackson's novel Good Girls Don't Get Killed. Impressive, right? Emma has a whopping 11 million followers keeping up with her journey. Well, she really loves discussing her work. Just recently, Myers expressed her joy about the filming of Wednesday starting in Ireland. I'm so excited. They're, they're just, they're my family, second families. But when it comes to her personal life, she keeps it under wraps. It seems like Emma is not dating anyone. Although there's a special place in her heart for the K-pop band 17. Yeah, that's them. Wow. A lot of people. Yeah, yeah. Only 13, but... There's 13 people in 17. 13 in 17, yeah. She's a devoted fan of Korean culture overall, so who knows? Maybe Emma will collaborate with them in the future. In the meantime, we can't wait to see the actress back with her on-screen and real-life bestie, Jenna Ortega as Wednesday Adams. After the series came out, she skyrocketed to become one of the most popular actresses globally. Ortega is on Forbes' 30 Under 30 list, recognizing the most influential young people worldwide. But the actress doesn't hide it. Being so famous is tough for her. Jenna mentioned that people take advantage of her vulnerability and it harms her mental health. So this often makes it challenging for her to just be herself. It's very easy to feel like almost out of control of things, mm -hmm. which is why it's so important, I think, for people to get off the phone. Jenna is drawing lines to keep her privacy intact and often expresses her true self on set. This has earned her labels such as having a star disease and diva status. Well, Ortega is truly a big hit on the internet. Her Instagram followers shot up to 40 million, and she started getting more and more offers for roles in movies. Ortega is still rocking her title as the horror queen. She snagged a role in Scream 6 and was set for the final flick about the Carpenter sisters. But then, out of the blue, she backed out. What happened? Well, word on the street is Jenna wasn't thrilled with the small paycheck. After the hit Wednesday series, she wanted at least a million bucks, but the producers weren't on board with that. Besides, she's already got plenty of work on her plate. After the actor's strike, she's got to wrap up filming for Beetlejuice too, And of course, diving into more Wednesday action herself. Jenna won't just be an actress, she's stepping into the producer's shoes too. Remember how she tweaked the script and lines because she wasn't vibing with some stuff? While some folks got riled up, Tim Burton wasn't phased at all. 
I've had experiences on television where I felt like my, my voice wasn't heard, that I wanted, I was meant to be a puppet, that I didn't really get to say. I've been told on set, uh, you wouldn't know because uh, you know you're not a writer, or like mm. just shut up and do your job. Yep. Now Ortega is dropping hints that the sequel will be less lovey-dovey and more spine-chilling. I think we want to lean into the horror aspect of the show a little bit mm. more because it is mm -hmm. so light-hearted, and I think a show like this, um, you know, with vampires and werewolves and yeah. superpowers, you just you don't want to take yourself too seriously. But when it comes to love in real life, Jenna keeps things hush-hush. Her relationship status remains a mystery. Well, just like all the happenings in the second season of the Beloved series. Who from the cast are you missing the most? Share your thoughts down below.